Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a jiu-jitsu fitness workout, okay? So, these are gonna be partner drills, exercises that I have Alex do with me to get him ready for his jiu-jitsu tournaments, okay? So, these exercises are good because they replicate some of the movements that are actually gonna be using for jiu-jitsu competitions, okay? So, partner drills, replicating some of the techniques you're actually gonna use in real jiu-jitsu tournaments. All right, so let's go with our first exercise, okay? This is gonna be good for your footwork in jiu-jitsu when you're trying to pass the guy's legs, okay? Passing the guard. So I'm lying on my back. Alex is actually gonna demonstrate here. So I'm gonna have my knees bent like this, and now Alex is just gonna be posting his hands onto my knees. Okay, so slowly he's gonna go from left to right, shuffling his feet, replicating the guard pass, replicating the footwork needed, and mimicking the knee on belly position, okay? You don't have to put the knee on belly, it's just an exercise. So now what he's gonna do is gonna go shuffle left to right, and as he does this, I'm gonna be counting the reps. So if it's 20 reps, I'm gonna be doing one, and two, and three, and four, and so on and so forth, okay? Sometimes you can also just set a timer and put it for 30 seconds or even up to a minute, okay? So this is a good exercise for guard passing to improve that footwork to pass the legs. The second exercise we're gonna show you guys is notice how Alex is holding my hips on this side and his head is posted on the opposite side. So now all he's gonna do is kick and jump and land on the opposite side. And then he's gonna kick back and come back. So he's gonna go one and two and three and four, and five, and six, and so on and so forth. Once he's done his repetitions, let's say 20 reps on this side, he's gonna actually switch sides and do the same thing for the desired amount of time or repetitions, okay? So just do a few here. So one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Very good. Okay, so this is our second exercise. Now the next exercise, Alex is gonna do the same position but this time he's gonna alternate from side to side and he's gonna land on both feet. So he's gonna jump over, land both knees and switch his position on every repetition. So it's very important when we do these drills to control the hips and the legs. Now he's gonna jump over, land, switch the position, do the same thing on the opposite side. He's gonna go one and then two and then three and then four, and so on and so forth. Okay guys, the next exercise is gonna be from this position here, the open guard position. Now Alex is gonna replicate attacking the leg lock, okay? So he's gonna hook, fall into position for the leg attack. But from here, he's gonna let the leg go, push my leg off, and do the technical stand up. Now we're gonna start and do the opposite side. Leg lock position, push the leg off, and stand up in base, and do two more. Once here, back up, and last one. Tack the leg, and then back up. All right, and obviously when we're gonna do these drills, we're gonna go much faster. This is just going slow motion so you guys can see the details of how the exercise is gonna be done, okay? Okay, the next exercise is gonna be a back drill, okay? So from the turtle position, in this position here, Alex is gonna be right in front of me. Now he's gonna start to turn to one side, and get this position here. Now he's gonna come back to center and do the opposite side. So the goal is to keep the pressure on the opponent's back and notice how he sinks his hips very low every time he turns the corner. All right, so he's gonna go from one side to the other. One, two, one more, one, and spin. Very good. All right, the next exercise is gonna be the arm bar spin drill from the close guard position, a very common exercise. So what I'm gonna do here is feed Alex my arm. He's gonna get an angle, pass this leg over, and then switch to the opposite side. And going left to right in this fashion. So once again, I'm gonna do this for a set amount of time or a set amount of repetitions. Now the next one is gonna be the Kimura sit-ups. Okay, I love this exercise. It's good for training your abdominal muscles, but it also replicates the submission attacks we're gonna use from the close guard, all right? So now I'm gonna place my hand on the mat, and now Alex is gonna sit up, replicate catching that Kimura. Every repetition coming up and getting that Kimura. So do maybe four more, three, two, and finish with a lock. From here, 
that would be the Q-more attack, okay? And then we're gonna do the opposite side. So let's say, for example, we do two, two sets, or let's say 20 repetitions on the left and then 20 repetitions on the right. So now we're gonna do the opposite side. So it's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're gonna do our 10 or 20 repetitions or set amount of time on one side and then on the opposite side. All right, so this next one, Alex is in the side mount position. He's gonna pop up the ground belly. And from here, when he comes back down, he's gonna sprawl his bottom leg and then switch to Keza Gatami, the modified Keza position. All right, so now he's gonna come back to side, pop up, and continuously switching in those three positions. Let's do three more. Two more. One. Last one. Up. And switch. Good job. The last two exercises are gonna be really tough and the way I use it with Alex is actually I use like a push-up position because I'm much bigger than him. So it's gonna be in the side control bottom position, all right? So what Alex is gonna be doing now is I'm just gonna place my hands on the mat like this, okay? So I'm gonna let myself drop, but he's gonna do a bench press. As he bench presses up, I'm gonna help him out because I'm much heavier than him. So if you have an equal weight partner, you can put your hands behind your back and have your partner do the full work. But in this case, since I'm twice the size <laughs> as Alex, I'm gonna help him out a little bit, see? So I'm gonna give him a little bit of a dead weight, and as he pushes up, I'm gonna go with him and then come back down, and he pushes up. Really using that bench press strength, so deltoids, triceps, pectoral muscles, to improve that power, that explosion that you need when you're on the bottom sometimes, okay? Now, in this fashion, he can also go north-south position, and do the close grip variation of this exercise, okay? So now from here, he's gonna place his hands and do the same thing. So one, two, pushing upwards, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. So you get the gist of it, okay? So these are some of the exercises that we wanna show you guys in this video. Now we're gonna go in real time because we have a full workout to do. So we're gonna do 20 repetitions, 10 on each side of every single exercise we just described in this video. Check it out.
Okay guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this video on the Jiu Jitsu Fitness Workout. Use these exercises once again, as I discussed, these are partner drills. You can do like 20 repetitions, you can do them for 30 seconds at a time, maybe alternate 30 seconds you do them and then 30 seconds your partner do it, and then you can do that for three sets in total, okay, three sets each, or you can even just count the repetitions, maybe 10 on one side, 10 on the opposite side and switch up, your partner does the same thing, however you want to incorporate this into your training routine. These are great exercises to do, I recommend doing these a couple of times each week and watch your jiu-jitsu improve, all right? So until next time guys, keep training hard and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.